So, as you guys know, I moved into my new place, out of my parents' house, living on my own, and the last few days I've been putting in furniture and getting things organized, and my mom hasn't seen the house like fully finished and she's here today and she's visiting and we're gonna have a little girls night wine night and just chit chat Why don't you introduce yourself? Who are you? Mm, hi, Dubis. I am Dubi Dubab's mom, Tina's mom. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so today, my mom got a chance to visit my place. It's my first apartment that I'm paying for myself and everything, living all alone. So it's a, it's a pretty big night for us and we're celebrating with a little bit of wine and I asked you guys on my Instagram story if you had any questions for Amma so I'm gonna be asking her the questions that you asked me so first question from Joseph hmm. did you support your child to pursue YouTube? how did you accept that fact? at that time I suggested her to collect just 50 recipes and then that could be your resume so using that resume find a job mm. yeah but now i'm really supportive her you know mm. as you know <laughs> <laughs> if i were to do any other job what, what job would you have wanted me to do I think dentist is a good job for women. What do you do for a living? I am a dentist in Korea. Mm. Why do you think that being a dentist in Korea is a good job for a woman? I have a license, so when I raise uh, Tina, mm. I spent uh, a lot of my time to her. So at that time, I barely work as a dentist and then after 10, around 10 years, I could start my job as a dentist again. You can find a job um, whenever you want. Mm -hmm. What is your age? I am 51 years old in Korean age. And in American age, I am 50. Did you teach me how to cook? No. <laughs> Never. <laughs> As you know, I'm not a good cook. I'm not interested in cooking. What was your reaction when I started social media full time? Uh, at that time, you didn't have any choice. You had to do for a full time job because you didn't have uh, any offer from the office or jo any job. Mm -hmm. So, who cooks better? Me and you. Mm -hmm. Definitely you! <laughs> <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's 
just the common sense. Yeah. You are a food content creator. Okay. How did we meet? <laughs> <laughs> you are my daughter, only child. <laughs> yeah. Why did you only decide to have one child? Mm, raising a child is very difficult for a, a woman who has a job. So when I got married, I said to your dad, I want just one child and he agreed. Mm. So, but the first child was a boy. I have another, I wanted to have another baby oh. because I really wanted to have a girl. Why? Because girl could be a friend to me. No, are we but friends? <laughs> <laughs> no. Enemies. <laughs> Enemies. As you know. I think this is the most commonly asked question, mm -hmm. but what is your skincare routine? Ah, uh, nothing special. Uh, I barely do makeup. I just uh, put my lipsticks, but I always put my sunscreen, even though it's a rainy day. Mm. Always. Mm. Yeah. And you also sleep a lot. Yeah, right. Very and, consistent and, and schedule. And regular. 피나님이 했던 음식 중 최애 음식은 corn corn ball. Mm. It it was re it's really delicious. It's hot and with beer, mm. it's perfect combination. Mm. Mm. How did you learn English? I studied a lot. <laughs> <laughs> today, today I learned one sentence: brace yourself. For example, living alone is not an easy thing, Tina, so brace yourself. Brace yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Are you single? No! <laughs> I have a husband. I am badly. No, I love him. I still love him. Like him. He's mine. <laughs> Love. He's, no, he's my, my, <laughs> <laughs> Love. He's, he's my, my first boy. I met him when I was in freshman. He cared me so much during college. And we've been dating for seven years and then got married. What kind of person do you want me to be with? Hmm. Confident and considerate mm. and cheerful. Mm. Why confident? Confident because uh, sometimes you are worried. You worried a lot. Even though that's not an important thing, mm -hmm. so I think you are very good at your job. So you deserve to be confident. I think I would agree too. Mm -hmm. I think I'm fear driven. Mm -hmm. I'm always scared that because content is so volatile yeah, right? right you know sometimes it's really good it's some very days dangerous you have to control your mind yeah mm -hmm. so some days it's very good some days it's really bad mm -hmm. and it feels very shaky mm -hmm. so i think i'm always really scared that even if i'm doing really well right yeah, now yeah, right. It's, it can all be gone in one second so i would agree with you um why cheerful because uh, when I was young, I was not cheerful at all. I want you to be always cheerful and always comfortable. Yeah. If you could give, if you could give advice to young people, mm. what advice would you give, Oma? Mm. I am not smart though, but I am very diligent. If you think you are not smart, you should be diligent. How was it for Amma to raise little Doobie? What was I like as a child? Mm. When 
when she was a child, she, she was so stubborn. <laughs> I hate her at that time. <laughs> What was I stubborn about? Uh, just uh, uh, everything she wanted to do herself. They are good. And make it me messy. messy. At that time, I was so stressed because of you, but now that was nothing. Mm -hmm. You grew very well. Yeah. yeah. I'm a good kid. Yeah. Mm. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do I get my sense of humor from you? No, not from me. From your dad. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, very, very yeah, funny. yeah. My husband is so funny. That's why I like him. He's short but funny. Yeah, he's short but not too short. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> what's a quality you love about me? But what's a quality you hate about me also? Hmm. These days, the love about you is you are very passionate about your job. Mm. Yeah, so I am very proud of her and dislike about you is be more organized. What do you love about me and hate about me? Mm. What I love and respect about you mm. is your constant... Um, I feel like a lot of people when they get older, they get complacent. Um, complacent meaning they get comfortable and they don't want to learn something new um. but you're always trying to learn something you're always reading and you're always questioning things mm -hmm. and I think that's an amazing characteristic that I really love about you thank what you I <laughs> <laughs> what I hate about you is that sometimes you can be extremely stubborn about the most like littlest things you know something that's like not important like my tattoo That's an impor important thing to me. I think that's like so not no, important. No, no. My body, my choice. But, but you can... are still my child. But we can back to defer. No, no comment. Next. <laughs> <laughs> For Amma, how to raise such a beautiful, smart, and fun daughter like Doobie? <laughs> you chose that kind of question. <laughs> <laughs> That's intentional. Mm, do you think I am strict to you? Mm, mm. When I was growing up, you were very strict. Yeah, very, very strict. Yeah. Um, like, I would say you were pretty much a helicopter parent, like when I was growing up. But things changed when I went to boarding school and I had to learn to live by myself. And especially when I. Um, went to the states alone i think you became a little bit more lenient but i think you still had very strict morals and values and core values um, but i think that was really good to me because i think of myself as someone with very strong values like it doesn't falter i'm able to make a good judgment most of the time and i think that had a big impact on me when i was growing up i raised you very well you did um. yeah. and one of the things i think i'm the most thankful for when you were raising me was you always made me read books and yeah. I think that's a really really important factor to what I'm doing right now and who I am. I think a large, large part of my success in content creation has to come with reading and just the creative process with it and seeing how other people express their feelings and emotions in language and I think that's a really important part of my life. Yeah. When you uh, were a child, you didn't, didn't want to have any siblings, so how about now? When I was younger, mm. I was very greedy because I knew I wanted both of your attention mm. all to myself and I didn't want to share it. And I didn't like kids even as a, as a child. Mm. I still don't love kids. Mm. but. Um, now I think it's a little bit different because as an only child, I think a lot of people will agree with me. Um, the burden of you getting older mm -hmm. and the burden of dad getting older, mm -hmm. like it's all on me. And 
if you guys are gone like i'm really like the only person in my family so i wish that i had someone else to share that with so i really really wish that i had siblings now doesn't matter older or younger or like what what um like sex i think just having someone there for me who's like blood related would have been nice but I also know that there's a lot of people that are blood related and not close to their siblings yeah. so like it's fine I think because I'm not like I'm very very close to you guys so I don't really feel that gap now but I am scared for what's what to happen like 20 30 years time and I think that's also part of the reason why I'm very particular with who I find and who I date because um, that person would be like my only family yeah right yeah <clears throat> what is your ideal type of man mm. like your dad no like i don't I, <laughs> yeah I, i'm sorry short tall, kings handsome. <laughs> tall handsome obviously broad shoulders <laughs> dark haired beautiful <laughs> but all jokes aside i think i really like um i like funny people and I like people that make me laugh and I also like people who are able to take a step back from their ego uh. and let me shine at times when I need to shine and I think that will... I want someone who's more mature than me I think I'm a nice person but sometimes I can be quite childish mm -hmm. or I just get so worried with work and that's all i can think about i need so i want someone who can help alleviate that stress yeah. i hope you get married before 30. Mm. i used to think that i wanted to get married really young like you because mm -hmm. you got married very very young you're 25. had you when i was 26 in america Oh my god, that's so disgusting. Why disgusting? It's you! That's so disgusting. That's like me in like a year. Can you imagine me getting married in a year? Congratulations! No, 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 definitely not. Um, I used to want to get married really young like you. But now I don't think that I will probably get married until I'm much older. I feel like there's a lot more that I want to do with my job. Um, and career-wise that I want to achieve before I settle down and I want to achieve those career goals first before mm -hmm. I settle down I also think that um, I'm also okay with not settling down not getting married as well I know I will be alone but I would rather be alone than to spend the rest of my life with someone that's like lukewarm that I feel lukewarm about that I can tolerate you know I will want it to be someone that lets my soulmate and my best friend and I'm okay waiting 10 years, 20 years, 30 years for that I hope you meet that kind of person in 5 years mm, mm. We'll see yeah, We'll see mm. That's good Two minutes with Chef Mike D Did you expect me to do this full time or was it super unexpected? Super unexpected. Mm. At the first time, mm, your dad and I thought you were gonna give up. Why? Because it's so difficult to, to take uh, mm, filming every step, but you've done it greatly. Mm. Mm. I feel like 
I think I have a tendency to get really easily tired of things. Like I would have yeah, a lot I of, I would have one hobby and then just go to another hobby and then go to another hobby. But one thing that really stuck with me over the years was food. Yeah. I think I always loved food. Um, I also really didn't know if I would love doing content like forever or like for a long time. Mm -hmm. But I think it's like one of the only things where still to this day, it makes me so passionate mm -hmm. about, you know, it's, I feel like I was born to do this. Mm -hmm. Why did you send little Tina to the US all by herself? Because you really wanted to go there. You were stubborn. At the first time, your dad and I disagree, disagree, sending you alone there, but had to let you go. A really long time, I yeah. feel like. I begged and begged to, for you to send me to the US. I think I always wanted to learn more about life in the US mm -hmm. and because I watched so many American TV growing up and I was reading so many American books it always made me wonder what life would be like in the US mm -hmm. Yeah That's true, I made you like that Yeah, okay. you made me like this mm -hmm. What's the best dish I make? Mm -hmm. You are thinking for a while <laughs> no, no, you make really good um, soup. I think you're good at soup. But your mackerel stew is also very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are we close? I think so. What about you? I think we're extremely close. Yeah. I mean, I tell you everything. Mm -hmm. Like anything even related to a boy, I tell yeah. you everything. Yeah. So uh, I know all of your ex-boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> That's very sad. <laughs> what do you think about the doobies? Is there something doobies? They are amazing. Actually, I can't understand them. Why? Yeah. They... Um, you are nothing. <laughs> just, a, just a little Korean girl, but they love you. That's amazing. And uh, they really love you and they always react to your behavior even though very small thing so I am very very thankful to them yeah, they are amazing they I think they made you yeah I agree and I think on that note I think that's a good ending to our little Q&A did you have fun yes it, 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 it's a really good time Thank you, Doobies! Bye-bye! I'll see you in the next vlog, miss. Mwah.